Project Pokemon was an experience like no other on Roblox. It's a game that every player who has played it never forgot about years later and was one of the most influential games on the platform. Today, I will be talking about what made the game so popular and special and what caused its tragic downfall down the line and why is it unplayable today. Now, let's talk about one of the most nostalgic Roblox games, Project Pokemon. Before we talk about Project Pokemon, we have to go all the way back to February 12, 2009, when a developer by the name of Wish underscore Z, going under the name Wish Knight at the time, joined Roblox. Around 2009, Wish Z would publish smaller games such as Create Your Own Obby Tycoon, The Voice, and Teletowers, which caught him very little publicity, but he was still a respected and talented member of the community. He took a long hiatus during 2012, where around 2013, he decided to work on a little project that would change Roblox forever. May 10, 2013, Wish Z uploaded a game on Roblox called Project Pokemon. There weren't any Pokemon games like this before on the platform, so it was the first of its kind and very groundbreaking. The game was uploaded as a beta, meaning that it was incomplete and would get constant updates. It started out with four gyms, and most Pokemon up until Generation 5 were in the game, as Generation 5 was the most recent generation at the time. It wasn't popular when it first released, but the game would gradually increase its player count with frequent updates. It would reach Roblox's front page around July 2014, and by December 2014, it had almost 2 million visits, which was insane at the time. There's nothing stopping its rise now. 2016 is when the Pokemon genre as a whole in Roblox started to become mainstream. Many people contribute this fame to the release of Pokemon Go during the same year, which I agree with, but there were more events that caused Roblox Pokemon to blow up in popularity. Pokemon Brick Bronze and Pokemon Fighter X were released late 2015, and their rise coincided with the rise of Project Pokemon. Pokemon Brick Bronze became Project Pokemon's largest rival due to the game having a whole new region and better graphics. A lot of people disliked Project Pokemon at the time due to it being quote unquote pay to win, but it wasn't really pay to win in my opinion because you could just spend time hunting for rare legendaries and find them without spending any money. Pokemon Go games on Roblox were being played by massive P YouTubers such as PewDiePie, bringing more attention to the po Roblox Pokemon scene. Yeah, what is this? Pokemon Autism Edition. Could it be? Whoa, those are some cool avatars. Well, the guy gets a sword. I think that's a little sexist. Man, that looks so good. I have to play this game. I got into Project Pokemon around 2016 during the Shiny Palooza event, which is when the game was the most popular and most fun in my opinion. I spent countless hours trading and getting involved with the community. In 2016, Project Pokemon, along with Pokemon Brick Bronze, were one of the biggest games on Roblox and were at their peak. Nothing could go wrong. In late 2017 to early 2018, Project Pokemon was getting over 3,000 players, which is insane for the game, but Pokemon Brick Bronze was getting over 10 to 15,000 at a time, making it by far the most popular Roblox Pokemon game. Project Pokemon kind of hit a peak in player count and it consistently got around 1 to 2,000 players in prime hours, which isn't bad, but this is only the beginning of the end for Project Pokemon. The game got less publicity, got a lot of players quitting, and fewer updates. In 2018, the game only got two updates, which included one minor update and the addition of Challenge Mode. However, another catastrophic event occurred, which caused the downfall of Roblox Pokemon games as a whole. April 18th, 2018, Lando64000, the creator of Pokemon Brick Bronze, tweeted out that Pokemon Brick Bronze was forcefully taken down by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company due to copyright issues. These games were always copyrighted material, but Roblox Pokemon games were treated as fan games at the time, but suddenly, when the game got too big for its own good, it was taken down when everyone least expected it. You might be thinking that Project Pokemon had a massive boost in player count since their greatest competitor was taken down, but unfortunately, this statement could be more incorrect. Many players quit Roblox altogether, including me, in 2018 for a while after Pokemon Brick Bronze's deletion, and all this event really did was make the Project Pokemon players worry that their game was next, and unfortunately, 
they were correct. Hey guys, it's your boy Logan HGI. Welcome back to another video. Now today is not a happy video like normal. It is a sad video because all, pretty much all Pokemon games on Roblox got deleted. This includes Pokemon Fighters, Project Pokemon, I saw Pokemon Legends, and I think there's- After this event, many other creators tried to recreate Project Pokemon, but the games would just get deleted by Nintendo and everyone would just lose their data all over again. This cycle has been repeating for a couple of years now and still continues to this day. Although popular, these new games never achieved the same fame as Project Pokemon. Project Polaro has been receiving similar player counts if not more than the original Project Pokemon, but 1,000 players in 2016 is like 50,000 players in modern Roblox. Eventually, most people moved on from the game and YouTubers that made Project Pokemon content moved on to new frontiers. Wish Z has started creating new games such as Doodle World Simulator and please go show him some support on his new game. In conclusion, don't mess with Nintendo as if you name your two children Mario and Luigi, they will hunt you down and kidnap your children until you legally change your names due to copyright. Thank you Nintendo for ruining everyone's favorite Roblox games in one day. Thank you guys for watching this video, also thank you for 300 subs. I will continue making high quality helpful content for my fans and see you in the next video. Goodbye.